So here's a line of thinking. <clears throat> I mean, first of all, uh, a question that seems to get answered, uh, asked, I should say, every so often is, has Ragnarok happened? And obviously, if Ragnarok has happened, then terrible things have befallen our gods, and the world has renewed, or it hasn't happened. Now, what what I see is a lot of people's views and their belief seems to be that... No, let's stop there. Um, if Ragnarok hasn't happened, then Odin and Frigg and Thor and that, they live in the present, in the now, as much as in the past. Uh, and, and in particular, Odin has always been known for the search of wisdom, the answer to all things. So much so that he gave his eye for it and that. So... Where do they fit into the modern world? Like for Odin, it's just like... Can't surely be stuck with the... Medieval, dark age sort of... Um, fashion that seems to be predominant in Norse mythology. They've moved... Surely they've moved with the times. So what does Odin make of... Recording technology so that you can use using your mobile phone, Wi-Fi, all the um, advances of science, the rise and fall of the Nazis um, and the absolute idiots that claim folkism following on from what the Nazis perverted... Uh, the Aesir and the runes into for their own benefits. So that's, for me, one of those sort of questions that I'm finding myself contemplating because Sartre or, or heathenry, Norse paganism, you hear it sort of being viewed as an ancient religion or trying to recreate what was before, sort of, over a millennium ago. And yet, hang on, it's not quite that, because it's now. It's always been perhaps less popular or growing in popularity. Um, obviously, it suffered badly with the rise of Christianity. Another conversation for another time. But it's constant. It's still there. Um, and if you believe that Ragnarok hasn't happened, then our gods are still viewing this world, still looking at it, still influencing or interacting with it in some way. And they have to have moved with the time, surely. I mean, no one more so than Odin, surely. Um, he knows everything, or he seeks to know everything. This is his one underlying sort of uh, goal in, in seeking answers, in dealing with with the inevitability of Ragnarok. So that's one of those things that sort of plays on my mind. I mean, I'm looking at Odin in particular with a more serious viewpoint. I've got a, another more fun uh, viewpoint where our favourite Thunder God is concerned. I'll maybe do a separate video for that just to, uh, I don't know, create some sparks. Um, but, yeah, it's just like, surely... They have moved with the times and acknowledge or see the changes that our world has um, progressed through uh, and seen and experienced. 
and yet I say it's the the thing that sort of um, I don't say bothers me it just I dwell upon is that um, we only use ancient sources um, and even then we've got to <clears throat> question them or sort of say take on board that they're written by Christian sources or like in any sort of works that you can't sort of um, review at the time may have questionable motives so it's all I suppose it's that line between what is written what has been orally passed on and what is what you experience feel and believe and that's I don't know it just seems to be a thing that bothers me is that so much is just stuck with this this is what's written from respected or questionable sources from like eight nine hundred years ago rather than I don't know breathing it feeling it and um knowing it and, and trying to find I don't know what the current mood is among the Aesir and uh, and and the spirits. I think it's just sort of a reflection that we are, as humans, as mortals, quite cynical. And we can't accept, or we have trouble accepting what people might say in the moment, uh, as opposed to the gravity of history uh, and it representing something that's far more authentic even though I'll say it for the last time that these gods these beings have been with us all this time through the passage of time through the growth and development of the, the human species with its fantastic and frightening sort of uh, advances in science and technology so yeah enjoy it enjoy thinking about that because uh i do cheers